I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chung Bay complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? Been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chung Bay City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, Conry? You came to hear the speech, right? Go to the town square. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Here, Al. Come here, Lon. Here, Al. Still working on the robot's navigation. Yeah, yeah I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up with your father's smart sock, Jay? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. How big is it? Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Um, okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. I'm waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Platform residents and facility guests. The latest from party representatives' social media. Are they getting rid of the rain clouds tomorrow, Sarah? Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. I had my pollen retrieval yesterday. Residents and visitors to Chilmain City, Dr. Sachinov's address will begin in 10 minutes. Everyone here seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China. Yes. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. So. Indeed it is. I remember that year, after all. You fought in the war, Comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... Look. I can't figure out what it is. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sessionov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, 
a university level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina any information gathered by these sensors will be polymerically projected directly onto your retina producing an augmented reality effect the only effect i've seen so far bot is pretty much nothing's changed to activate the scanner just make a special gesture Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. How welcome to the future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of a man. We find ourselves in the lobby of the high road, step away from their native evolutionary victories, and will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of the next So happy to see you taking it easy, Major. Oh, the car is waiting. Oh, you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Collective to be left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, that's elite. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. And dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all manuals, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here's your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Fading data. Comrade, as a citizen of a mighty 
Sorry, I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? We've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Still an internal combustion engine. Not right? just an engine. Oh, 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 stop progress. The thought is also a turning a new level of safety. Now this one's a gas gun. Windows are all running on electricity. With an elegant, eye pleasing look in a wide range of colors. in response to widespread concern in the city of Azure. How about some music? That's more like it. See, you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Yes, I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Rocking turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen even flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence. Those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. 
Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per... Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Until the vehicle comes to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now in the laboratory of the catalog complexes of above ground facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Babylon complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on the subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. You do love, but get your wrist metal out of sight! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operating. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Droga towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. My head's killing me.
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Say again. Are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. <coughs> Your mission is to find him. Bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Help me! I'm gonna die in here! Get away from me! Oh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there! Give me a hand! Oh, I didn't see that coming. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Well, Thanks for the help, no ma'am. sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on I don't here? know if you noticed, but Lots the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chiller! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Ah, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! <laughs> and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. I'm riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Huh? Holy shit! What a goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? 
Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. A valve. Just what I need. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, rose from the ashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kinda busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shh, I'm a shingo. Why didn't you tell me that before? This way, that won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to... Efficient. Indeed. Especially since repeated blows can damage even state-of-the-art equipment. Robots disabled in this manner contain anything? more items than piles of scrap metal. You don't say. Experimental data and clear your workspace at the end of your shift. Have a seat, Mihail. My name is Charles, comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? Genetic analysis results are considered unofficial. So you're telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. 
No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebanon's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. scientist. I've always considered myself an atheist, but right now there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We blocked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel, but I don't... My dearest V, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always. Damn it, why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neural polymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now get this. How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions.
Oh. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock? Are you serious? A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Damn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. Analysis results are considered unofficial and cannot be presented as a valid document. 10% of cases require a follow-up analysis a week later. I'm just gonna have a look around first.
your fucking button. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Repeat. They say Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, National polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Attention. Remember that illicit possession and dissemination of experimental data constitutes a crime against the Communist Party and is punishable by capital punishment. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? <laughs> This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? 
Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Attention. Convicted persons, number 704. Fading data. Is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Shift schedule carefully. An extra minute spent at lunch is a minute stolen from the people.
contact with warm-blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Repeat. the key aspects of our machines that concern ordinary people. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Start the line. There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. This enormous flying platform is currently... There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Employee Maybe someone has the code. Someone's gotta move. Anything! Uh, what was that? They won't get me alive! Stay free! Not every badge is created equal. We just need to miss it to the cable crisis. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Social control. Repeat. Poor bastards. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry. Movement. No ticket. Moving. Speed. Moving. We are ready to depart. Ten. Nine.
again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. I'm a spec ops soldier, not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. gas tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 2826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hook it on the surface. Infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Tarish Kovas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks for nothing. Fading data. some serious security. People put them up for a reason. You see one? That means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There is a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Ha! 
Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna... Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burrow. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chalamet. Victor, save yourself! Chalamet. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Hey, freeze! Lock down in hot. those robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. The trough ran off in the mobile power source called the candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. The Birch Tree Pet 4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model, the first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Please listen to this trimmer and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits. This. The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. The motors are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. 
you won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on that cases, metallic or otherwise. my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. What do we have here? The testing center. This is the Luna. No, I've got one. It's a weird song. But I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who were you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Shit, lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. There you are, sugar. Obviously, oh, the last cancer has to be so lost deep in the universe's quantum ass. Does this stuff yet? happen to everyone? Uh, or just me. Don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes. Scold me. Punish me. Sugar, I did my best. Cool, for real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? Fine. 
If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There it is. The lunch break for staff members with low social credit is now beginning. Regular personnel are to remain at their workstations. I've got another one. Now for the third. Uh, done. This place is huge, and it's got such an house name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vandalov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here, so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever.
I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. Now, I'll give you 10 we? seconds to surrender. Experimental results are the physical and or intellectual property of the Communist Party and may not be appropriated. A candle. According to my biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out.
analysis results are considered unofficial and cannot be presented as a valid document. 10% of cases require follow-up analysis ever later. Internal PEC4 power generator microclimate readings are suboptimal. Electricity generation not possible. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Exactly. Saving data. Saving data. Smell! The lunch break for staff members with low social credit is now beginning. Regular personnel are to remain at their workstations. Bring this mud now, huh? Shit, that hedgie's lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology role. <laughs> 
<gasps> Harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I gotcha. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. Dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully specific. Back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too. There we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Better be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Shell us again. That's more like it. saw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Better. Plus, 
Pleasant lights all around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Please check the canister. You can collect the canister now. Can I get down first? Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I like perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? No, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, remember, Comrade Major. Uh, two years, maybe a little more? I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. Luminopolymer polymer canister connected. The tree, it's glowing. <laughs> It's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. Boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it.
seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Faraday, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature on furnaces. About something, right? I'll try getting them into the boilers. Attention. Convicted persons number 704557A, number 90744K, and number 075332N. Your sentences have been altered following a case review. Please hand over all equipment to your supervisor. And okay, I found the opening. Repeat. Uh, what do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? It worked! Two more left, G. Are you sure? Good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Senior roboticist Alexander Yifremov, please report to dispatch. All set. Are you fucked in the head? The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Navalov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available.
What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis. But I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. Dimitri Bagramo, previously convicted for slandering the Communist Party, has officially paid his debt to the motherland and is thus granted relief from war saver and colleagues.
goddamn clusterfuck.
shrink wrap. Right. That's why the polymers are organic components. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop to undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. It's huge. I've never seen it. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Members who received SIN-21 and SIN-22. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing.
working weekend days. Medium to high social credit employees only. need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, container. <sighs> Just tell me what it looks like. It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Comrades, experimental data must be kept secure at all times. Attention employees who have recently been in contact with warm-blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Repeat. Is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough. <laughs>
this success, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Fearalize it. I'm trying. Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. Did he quit or something? Pesticide level decreased. Now at 2%.
the fuck is taking you so long? That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If you don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in rage! We gotta run before it! Hang on! God damn it! Oh fuck! My leg! Yeah! You okay, buddy? We did it! Shit! Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! Are aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No! Fuck. No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy! I'm coming! Shit! The fucking canister! Well, it's something! Mutated. No shit, Sherlock. First me, crap. Get the fuck off me. Log number four, May 13th. We've moved the hemlock to a remote wing of the lab. The plant has become enormous. Its vines can extend in any direction to search for food.
How did Cheriton Zahara die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to the uh, generator. Is the now door's really locked. Operational. We won't be able to open it without power. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Where are you, Comrade Major? I have been waiting for you at the VDNH station for several hours now. Well, you're gonna be waiting for a couple more. If you don't like it, you can come meet me here. I'll give you the address. Forester Village, Elevator Sector. I'll meet you between robots 7 and 9. Everyone must do the job they studied for. Shit, you got a good point there. Where'd you study, Stockhausen? Some kind of top-secret German university, right? A special school somewhere underground? What exactly are you suggesting? Nothing at all. I just want to know where I can find the institution of higher learning where they teach people to become professional ass-lickers. Bah! We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitznaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go.